Hey guys, welcome to another episode and today's subject is Why aren't your finances growing? Tips on financial prosperity. So let's get started guys. If you're interested then tune into this video and point number one. Save 15 to 20 percent of your earned income right away. What most people do when they get paid, what they do, they you know pay themselves in the very end and what happens in this process they're just there paying all their bills and then towards the end when they're trying to save some money they have very little to no money left and the whole idea behind that is that you know what you want to just the second you get paid you have to train yourself and your mind to pay yourself first when you take away you know 15 to 20 15 to 20 percent of your wealth right in the beginning of your paycheck or you know from however you're getting paid then you automatically are re structuring your finances to be able to work with 80% of whatever you earn and you know what the, that goes towards bills and then anything else that you basically put aside goes was all basically part of your savings point number two spend relative to your income avoid deficit spending so what you should be doing you should have some type of a budget tracker you know to keep um, con, you know to keep all your mortgage payments or your rent or your car payment or anything else that you have you want to be able to track all these payments to the best that you possibly can and by doing so what you're gonna do at least once a month or once a week you want to be able to sit down and be able to see how your you know finances are you're spending your finances because a lot of times the problem is not with saving the money but the problem is with loose I call it loose spending because you know what when money comes in there's always a reason where you can end up spending that wealth and a lot of times that wealth usually you know whatever wealth that you have left over will end up going towards you know items or services that you do not necessarily need so this is why it's very important to track and budget all that you spend because you will notice you know a difference that it's not the money that you save but it's the money that you don't spend you will see that this is the money that basically along with the money that you save is going to allow you down the line to be able to make you know uh, bigger decisions such as you know buying starting a business or basically um, buying a house or any or any decision of such nature point number three benchmark on where we like you know where you are in your life avoid FOMO so and you know what you have to find ways to budget consumerism so basically a lot of times what happens is that you look at your you know your relatives or your friends and then you see that you know they're buying a house or they're basically you know they bought a car or you tend to pace yourself you know along the lines of what other people are doing you have to understand what people say and what people do are two very different things. So, you know, my journey as an accountant, we, when we do people's taxes, we sit down with our clients and then a lot of times we see exactly, you know, where the money is being spent and what's going on. So what you want to do is you want to avoid FOMO or you want to avoid, you know, being in situations where you don't look at your finances and you simply are out there spending money just based on, you know, emotions because those decisions are not the right type of decisions. And what you want to do, you want to basically benchmark your finances based on your budgets and having an accurate game plan for them point number four paying taxes pink this is one of those things that we all we help our clients you know save money on taxes because ultimately what happens is that we we see this very often that people's finances they are very loosely you know they don't manage your finances correctly and you know whatever accounting advice they're get they're they're being given from their loved ones or not having professional advice from a professional accountant they don't know how to structure their you know their their finances correctly and they're not able to take you know, good advantage of you know tax shelters or you know deploying you know tax write-offs in the correct manner to legally reduce your tax burden Point number five, don't wait too long to invest your savings. 
basically when you want to be the, the inflation rate is so high in this day and age the main problem that what most people they get hit with that they often at times they wait too long and by doing so what they're doing they're basically putting themselves at a significant disadvantage where you know what they're going to be waiting a long time and if they're looking to maybe buy a house that house has gone up more you know significantly higher in price or maybe some assets such as gold or silver now all of a sudden they just find themselves that they're always in saving mode and then they're not able to make the decision that they want because they waited too long you can still basically make you know take um i guess limited um you know um shots and you should be able to make um uh, good decisions based on that point number 6 care about your finances the main problem that we often see that a lot of times people they work so hard and then you know what they just do not care enough about their finances and basically what that happens is that they're too loose with their spending habits or they're taking advice you know people from people that are not you know financially uh, fully literate at, um, a lot of times and what that often at times does is that they usually find themselves in bad financial situations they're working hard the money's not really growing it's not really going to where they want it to go and you know what they're seeing that the cost of living is you know going higher and higher day by day and you know as you live and as you grow in this in this day and age in this uh, in the society you find yourself that your finances don't go and they do not grow accordingly that's where deficit of spending comes into play where people they're just going to go ahead and they're going to just you know take the money out of their credit card and they're going to basically spend and be, at the end of the day the cost of borrowing in this day and age is 22% and then now they're stuck in another trap as, um, aside from taxes which is ta which is interest and a lot of times interest usually depletes the wealth of consumers so what you want to do you want to take these tips and you want to deploy these strategies in combination with one another to seek a better financial viability for for yourself and for your loved ones and hopefully this video was helpful to my audience today and i'm i'm a licensed chartered professional accountant and you know what we help you know hundreds and thousands of people uh make better financial decisions and you know what we urge uh, our audience if you do not have you know a currently an accountant then you know what look at the link in our description box we'll be more than happy to offer you advising and um you know we can go from there well thank you for tuning into today's episode and uh um, we'll see you on the next one bye guys